Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this gnome pine coat ornament. It's actually really cute and very, very easy to make. Um, it'd be a great beginner project. So, and you can be really creative with him too and make him, make it however you, however you'd like. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a pine cone. Um, you not, you really, what we're going to do is crochet the hat and then we glue it onto the pine cone. Um, and if you don't have a pine cone, I bought mine at Walmart because the ones in my yard weren't that big. Um, if you don't have a pine cone, I mean, you can put a gnome hat on anything. Be, you can be creative, you know, like a tennis ball, or you can make a small one and put it on a golf ball. I've seen that done. Just, you know, anything like that. But like I said, I bought my pine cone at Walmart. And then you're going to need, um, if you want, remember, you be creative, as creative as you want. Um, I put pom-pom for his nose and one on top of his hat so two palms you can make your own too also or use something different i actually got jingle bells in his hat so i'm gonna throw a few of those in his hat not anything you have to do um the yarn that i'm using is premier uh basic it's a medium weight number four so any medium weight number four will work you're not going to even need very much at all the color i'm using is called turquoise and then i'm going to put a little bit of gopher fur i'm going to trim his hat with it and hot glue it on there not anything again that you have to do and then you're going to need a hot glue gun and a hot glue stick um you're going to need a stitch marker i always use a piece of yarn and then we're going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and if you want to make him an ornament, you're going to need some type of little hook or, hook or something at the top there to hook him on. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. The first row is always the hardest. I think so for me anyways. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with our slip knot on our hook. Now let's go ahead and work a chain of three. Now we're gonna slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a, a ring. I always like to throw my tail over and then I usually put my middle finger right there so I can keep my ring open and then I slip stitch right through it like that. And then I'm gonna chain one. Now that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, doesn't count as anything. So we're just gonna pretend like it's not even there. So now we're gonna put three single crochets through the center of the ring. So we're going to stick our hook right through there and we're going to work three singles. So there's one, two, and there's three. Now what you want to do, this is the hardest part for me, is count back three stitches. One, two, three. That way you know which stitch that you need to go into. Go ahead and put your stitch marker there because this is going to be the end of round one. Now we're going to be working in a continual round. We're not going to slip stitch until the end. So count back your three stitches. One, two, three. So I know I need to go into this stitch right here. And I'm going to go into it and I'm going to put two single crochets into that stitch. That very first stitch. So there's one. And there's two. Now I'm going to put two single crochet in the remaining two stitches and they are a little hard to see. Like I said, it's a little bit tough at the top to see your stitches, but once you get your hat a little bit wider, it'll be just fine. And then two into the last. So at the end of round two, you should have a total of six stitches now. Like that. And you'll have to probably keep popping your hat up like that as you go okay so that's into round two we're going to go ahead and pull our stitch marker out and place it right here and we're going to go ahead and start round three so we're going to go ahead and put one single crochet into the next stitch just one and then the next stitch we're going to put two single crochets into it And then the next stitch, we're going to put one single crochet. And the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. 
Oops. And the next stitch, we'll put one single crochet. And then the last stitch before your stitch marker, we're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into that last stitch. And that'll end round three, and you should have a total of nine stitches now. So it'll get a little bit easier to see what you're doing from now on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our stitch marker up, and we're going to start row four. Now row four and five are going to be the same thing. We're going to work around and we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch. So we're on row four, so I'm just going to work around and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, should have nine stitches. Go ahead and pull your hat up there and move your stitch marker up. We're gonna do the same thing for round five. One single on every stitch around. made it to the end of round five and you still should have nine stitches okay now I'm going to move my stitch marker up for round six we're going to do an increase row now so we're going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches so there's one and two and then the next stitch we will put two single crochets into the same stitch and that'll be the repeat for row six one single crochet into the next two one there and one there and then two single crochets into the next one single crochet into the next two And two single crochets into the next which should be a last stitch now you should have a total of 12 stitches there at the end of round six if you want to tuck this tail up in there so it's not in your way that's what i would do i'm going to cut mine a little shorter and then just tuck it up in there pull i'm going to pull it tight and then i'm going to tuck it all right that way he's not in my way all right so now we're going to do we should have 12 stitches now now we're going to do round seven. Now round seven and eight are going to be the same. We're just going to work around and put one single crochet in every stitch. So we moved our stitch marker up. So we're going to start round seven. And we're going to work around and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch. Should have 12 stitches still go ahead and move your stitch marker up for round eight and we're going to repeat that again we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around
and you still should have 12 stitches. Now we're going to start round 9, which is going to be an increased round. So we're going to go ahead and move our stitch marker up. Now we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to put two single crochets into the next one, two. And that is our repeat round. So but that's that's a repeat for this round. One single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. And then two singles into the next. Okay. One single crochet into the next three. There's one, two, three. And then your last stitch there before your stitch marker, we should get two single crochets. And you should have 15 stitches now. So that was the end of round nine. So round 10, 11, we're gonna pull our stitch marker up. And what we're gonna do is one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to go around for round 10, one single crochet in every stitch. I'll move my stitch marker up. Round 11, one single crochet in every stitch. And that's where I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 11. So um, 10 and 11 are just one single crochet in every stitch. All right, I've made it to the end of round 11 and I still have 15 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker up. Round 12 will be an increase row. So we are going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and then two into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat now for round 12. One single crochet into the next four. There's one, two, three, four, and two into the next. And one more time. One single crochet into the next four. And your last stitch should have two single crochets in it, and that should end round 12. And now you should have a total of 18 stitches. So if you notice, um, when we do our increase rounds, they are increasing by three stitches. So that ends round 12. So rounds 13 and 14, we're going to move our stitch marker up. You guessed it, they're going to be rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to do round 13. And I'll have 18 stitches, move my stitch marker up, one single crochet in every stitch, and I'll do the same thing for round 14. One single crochet in every stitch, 18 stitches, I'll move my stitch marker up. So I'll go ahead and finish that up, and I'll meet you at the end of round 14. All right, I've made it to the end of round 14, and I still have my 18 stitches. So as you can see, um, we're going to go ahead and move our stitch marker up, and to begin round 15 will be our increase round. So we will do one single crochet into the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then the next stitch will get two singles into the same stitch. And then again, one single into the next five. There's one two, three, four, five, and two singles into the next, one, two. One single into the next five, there's one, two, three, four, five, and your last stitch should be two singles. And now I'm going to have three more stitches than I did before. So I'm going to have 21 stitches now at the end of round 15. And then I'll move my stitch marker up. And um, I'll do two rows of one single crochet in every stitch. So 16 and 17 will be one single crochet in every stitch. Now this is the manner that we will keep increasing until you get your hat to fit whatever that you're putting it on. So maybe you have a smaller pine cone um and you need a smaller hat 
uh, or maybe you want to use like a ping pong ball or something like that. You just keep increasing in the same manner that we've been increasing until you get it to fit. See, I'm going to need to go a lot bigger on mine until you get it to fit whatever it is that you're, you know, wanting it to fit. So I'm going to continue increasing, like I said, in the same manner that we've been increasing. We increase and then we do two rows of single crochet and then we increase again by and then we do two rows of single crochet. Increase again, didn't do two rows of single crochet until you get your hat to fit your pine cone or whatever you're putting the hat on. Right now it would probably fit well on a ping pong ball or something like that. And then I'll meet back up with you once I get it as big as I want it to be. Now remember the increase rows will always increase by three stitches. So um, last time we did five single crochets in a row and then we did two single crochets in the next our next increase row will be six single crochets in a row and then two into the next stitch and then our next increase row will be seven single crochets in a row and then two into the next and so forth the next one would be eight and then two into the next um if you look down in the comment section i will put uh i'll write out the, the best i can a little bit of a pattern that you'll be able to follow along um to know the increase rows so i'm gonna remember increase and then two rows of single increase and two rows of single okay and then i'll meet back up with you um once you get your pine cone or once you get your hat to fit your pine cone or whatever it is that you're putting your hat on all right i think mine's big enough so i did this is kind of you see that plus i'm gonna put a little fur on it so and this is acting as his beard so what i'm gonna do now is um not my next row is not going to be an increase row i ended on my two rows there of the single crochet i'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next two stitches slip stitch once and go to the next one and slip stitch again pull out uh the yarn clip it like that now i use my yarn needle and tie it off there real quick it doesn't go back through and Weave it in a bit. I'm weaving it in off camera, but yeah, just weave it in a couple times. Clip that. Now, if you want to add the fur, you can. You don't have to. Um, or you could use white yarn. You, if you want, you could uh, do a row of single crochet around the bottom in white. That's up to you. But I'm going to use my hot glue gun that I got heating up somewhere. I know. I got it ready for today's event. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hot glue stick in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my go for faux fur and I'm just going to glue it on um, because I found trying to crochet it on um, made it bulkier. So I thought gluing it on would be a little bit, hopefully, easier. So uh, I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue. Well, let me pump it up here for some reason. There it goes all over my desk. Of course. around there and then I'm going to just slowly add a little bit and glue it burn my hands in the process <laughs> try not to but I will um hot glue and yarn go really really well together I found out in all my years of crocheting that they are a match made in heaven they rarely rarely come apart so I'm going to do this all the way around with my fur. Like I said, if you don't have fur, you could just do a row of single crochet in white, or you could leave it all one solid color. He's your gnome, however you want him to look. This is my hat, not hate gnome. I made him in blue to support the anti-bullying hat not hate campaign. And I'll put him on my Christmas tree. My gnome Christmas tree. Oh 
Okay, then once you make it all the way around, the clip a little bit more hardly right here. Whoa. Then you can clip that end off. Like that. Okay. Burn myself. There we go. All right. Pine cones are dangerous, isn't it? All right. Now we're going to glue them on to our pine cone. I'm going to add some jingle bells in the top of mine just for fun. So I just got these at Walmart. You don't have to do it, but throw them in there. And now I'm going to take my pine cone. And I'm going to glue the hat on. So, I'll place the hat on like this. Well, kind of look at where your hat goes on your pine cone. And I'm going to place a little glue right here. Because I know it's going to go around about that edge. Oh no. My hot glue is going to dry up. It's alright. Holds on there for a minute. There we go. Let me throw that other ball up in here on this side. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of, I got that one part glued. Now I'm just going to kind of tuck it in, glue around it like this. He's a jingle and gnome. And just go around him until you feel like his hat's glued on pretty well. But it ain't going to come off and you're not going to... If you did put bells inside so they're not going to fall out. Okay. Now, look at him. I'm going to clip that off. I don't know why that's hanging out. Okay. Okay, now you want to look at him and you want to find the best spot to put his nose. Where you think is the best side and a good place to put his nose. So I'm using a pom-pom. You could use a jingle bell. You can use a button. You can use a bead. Uh, whatever you have laying around that looks like it would work well for a gnome nose. So I think... Right here is going to work for me. So I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue right here on the back of this and right here on here, like here on the pine cone. Put it up under his little fur there. Hold it there for a second. I'm messy with crafts, but boy, are they fun. <laughs> So, there he is so far. Now, you can always decorate him by putting bees on him, or you can make some little arms for him if you want to. Remember, this pine cone is acting as a beard. Uh, you know, anything you want to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a palm and glue it to the top of his hat. You remember, you can make these two if you want. You can make one for his nose, too. So glue up there. Hold the palm on for a minute. Okay, now here's the front of him. I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend the tip like this. And I'm going to use, you can fluff the fur if you have fur, a ornament hanger. So I'm going to take a wire, this is from a ornament, and bend it. I'm going to fold it back like this, and I'm going to go through the top. So it catches both of those pieces. Back through the other side, and you'll probably have to pinch it pretty hard. This is all bent up, but, and then 
There you go. There is your Adorbs Gnome Ornament. Adorbs. Super easy, super fun. And just think of how creative you can be with him. You could doll him all up any way you want. And like I said, if you don't have a pine cone, think of, of all the things you can use for his body. This guy's the limit. But I hope you enjoy my tutorial. I think it's fun. I like to do crafts sometimes. <laughs> um, don't forget to like uh, this video if you did enjoy it. Um, and you can always show me a picture of your gnome and how creative you were with yours. I'd love to see a picture of what color you made him, what, what you made him look like. Hashtag me at Bagel Day Crochet on Instagram. Show, show me your guy. Show me your gnome. Um, or your girl. Maybe you made some braids. It'd be cute. Yeah, you could crochet some braids or something. But whatever you decide, I'd like to see it. So yeah, come hit me up on Instagram. And don't forget to check out my other tutorials. You know, I do have hundreds of them. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day. Bye guys.